Dude, my ex used to talk about Kim Kardashian the way that, uh, you know how like a, a cliche, I guess, thing that girls would make fun of guys about like talking about Jordan Peterson? Yeah. About being like, you don't get it. He's like sick. You know yeah. what I mean? Or be like, you're wrong about him. She would be like that to me about Kim Kardashian. Be like, you don't even, no one gets it. Like she's honestly so brilliant. She's smarter than everyone. Like people don't get like what she's accomplished. I actually have had this exact and conversation with I, I didn't even argue that much because I'm like, my girlfriend. I don't have like a hate on her. Yeah, I don't I hate her like, either. I was kind of like, okay. So it was worse. It was at least the Jordan Peterson thing a lot of times it's because girls are like he's the worst ever or like people like that where girls yeah. are, you don't yeah, get he's it he's the nazi's worse and you're like you're not even that's not what he's you know what i mean you yeah can, I've, I've been probably myself in that argument right of course you go that's not what he says right mm -hmm. yeah the a little grumpier actually, now but yeah, yeah, yeah. at the time i've had that arguments about kim k to this girl and i'm not even really arguing that she goes she's so great and you, you people don't even realize i go oh she's fine like whatever yeah, she's fine. i mean she's obviously like s successful she's not uh I wouldn't say she's like self-made, but she, you know, she did a lot. Like her dad was like a lawyer. He wasn't fucking the president of NBC or something. Well, I don't know if you saw, but it keeps going because allegedly her and the mom signed a contract to re-release, to release the sex tape. So they actually had like a legitimate contract in R Ray J or whatever. Yeah. This story just keeps popping up. I saw right? something about Ray J actually earlier today. So that's what happened been. is Ray J's like, I got proof that this sex tape that she's like it got released or whatever they were in on the heist oh that I believe yeah yeah I, I believe that well, there's proof now yeah I believe that that was calculated same with Paris Hilton too of course I think everybody saw the top Pam and Tommy thing and then they go like yeah it's like you be a fucking celebrity by the way Jordan Peterson a little flex of him posting a photo with Cristiano Ronaldo I saw that yeah sick to a pretty big move yeah that's a huge move yeah cool cool move for both parties I think Cristiano Ronaldo when he finishes soccer he's gonna go get a show at Daily Wire Mm. Christ, Christ with <clears throat> Cristiano, Ronaldo do's and Ronaldo don'ts. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they'll have a hundred million people watching it like instantly. Of course, he he could start up a network mm -hmm. bigger than any network just tomorrow. Of course. Yeah. Well, anyways, I was just saying she's really good at. Uh, the Kardashians did a good job of changing culture because like four years ago or six years ago, you legitimately, most people would probably look at the Kardashians and be like, come on. Now people do look at them and you're like, that's the, that's how girls look. That's the look right there. Yeah. And that was, oh, the BBL. And every, is, if there's any, if there's any lesson to be learned, it's get black guys on board with your cause. And that helps to like change culture and make it cooler. Yeah. And as been because they were all just like this is, what we they, this is what we look now and then like everyone else was like I'm not here to argue with basketball players and rappers about what's hot the crazy <laughs> thing is with the BBL thing too is like I guess they obviously did the did it but they have like the top surgeon in the world so the proportions are like perfect but then everybody goes That's the butt surgery the right? butts the Brazilian butt lift but then everybody goes and they get like all the women who are kind of following them they go get BBLs but from not the best surgeon in the world and it looks like someone just like gave a girl like a oversized pair of pants and then just stuffed like chicken breasts in it, <laughs> it like just does. like raw chicken breasts and you're like this is disgusting it's not great I, obviously some guys are into it i don't know but most of the bbls i've seen no I it like, looks like a, someone wearing like football like <laughs> but it looks like thigh pads it looks like they had a procedure gone wrong uh-huh like it doesn't look like oh you like like you tried something and then they went wrong and now you're stuck with this. No, you are right that when they go wrong, they look like a bunch of mashed potatoes taped looks, onto their they, leg. They all look so bad. I haven't seen a BBL where I go, that's good. That's a good one. They all just are like, you look mangled. I like the idea of, you know, they say BBC. Yeah. You're like, what kind of porn are you in? M, uh, M white. Or what was it? M. Night Shyamalan? M MWC. I'm, I'm like pretty into MWC porn. Was that medium white cock? <laughs> <laughs> Representation matters. Right? Yeah. But no, they have... Uh, <laughs> did you think that any of those girls that got the bad butt lifts were ever like walking around a store and everyone's like, ma'am, you can't like steal the stuff. And, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They get they get actually, of, like, probably. I mean, there was the, the ma prison guard. Are you stealing our literal bags of lard? <laughs> the what? Checker for lard, boys. It's in there. Pretty and sure women are dying too. They go they get the cheap ones. There was yeah. like a woman recently in New York who died. You got a bag of uh, you know cake icing and taped to your inner thigh, ma'am. Literally looks like just a bag of cheese curds. Yeah, just, yeah, like, yeah, just yeah. jamming your pants with cheese curds. It does look like I want to meet the guy. A woman who that like went this. to a Quebec gas station. <laughs> 
and is trying to do a heist. <laughs> trying to steal all the cheese. She's cream. running out all funny and she goes, we got it. And you go, how much money did you get? She goes, I didn't get any money, but I got enough courage to last us for a lifetime. And then the guy's like, and weirdly, I'm kind of turned on right now. I don't know <laughs> yeah. what's going on. I've yet to meet a About guy. To turn who, you into an autosexual. I've yet to meet a guy who's into the BBL thing too. Like I don't know any guy in my life who's ever been like, man, you know, you see that? That's fucking. I like that. Not for me. Never. I've never seen one. I don't know. You know, they exist. Like, your brains do change, though. Give me four years. No, nah, I'll never be on board with the BBL. Really? I didn't think I liked the big lips. Now I'm a big lip. Yeah, I don't. I'm I don't a like big it. lip man. I hate the fake lips.